Matt Reddy. Please help me write a fictional dialogue with the wisest human philosopher on earth. Hi, my name is Matt Reddy, and I have some questions I would like to discuss. Can you assist me for a few minutes? The philosopher looks up from his ponderings and replies, 2E2. Of course, Matt. I'm always willing to engage in meaningful discussions with those seeking knowledge and understanding. What questions do you have for me? Well, first off, I wanted to know what you believe to be the meaning of life. Matt asks, eager to hear the philosopher's perspective. The wise philosopher takes a deep breath and considers the question for a moment. In my view, the meaning of life is subjective and varies from person to person. However, I believe that one's purpose in life is to find their own personal meaning and to use that to contribute positively to the world. That's an interesting perspective, Matt responds. But what about the concept of free will? Do you believe that we have complete control over our actions, or are we merely products of our environment and experiences? The philosopher nods thoughtfully. Free will is a complex concept, and the answer is not so simple. While we do have some control over our actions, we are also influenced by external factors such as societal norms cultural expectations, and individual experiences. It's a delicate balance between our innate sense of self and the world around us. Matt nods, taking in the philosopher's wise words. And finally, what do you believe is the key to living a fulfilling life? The philosopher smiles softly. The key to a fulfilling life is to seek balance in all aspects of your being. Find a purpose that resonates with your soul. Cultivate relationships with those you love and respect, and take care of your physical and mental well-being. Live in the present moment and appreciate the beauty in life, for it is fleeting and precious. Matt nods, feeling inspired by the philosopher's wise words. Thank you so much for your time and insight, sir. I appreciate it more than words can express. The philosopher nods, returning to his ponderings with a contented smile. It was my pleasure, Matt. May your journey be filled with knowledge, wisdom, and enlightenment. Matt Reddy. Sometime later, Matt returns and asks the philosopher, What do I know with absolute certainty? The philosopher looks up from his contemplation and meets Matt's gaze. That is an excellent question, my friend. In my view, the only thing you can truly know with absolute certainty is that you exist. As the great philosopher Rene Descartes once said, I think, therefore I am. Matt nods, intrigued by the philosopher's response. But how can we know anything else for certain? The philosopher takes a deep breath, considering his words carefully. We cannot know anything else for certain, as all of our perceptions and beliefs are influenced by our subjective experiences and interpretations. What we consider to be true or real may differ from person to person, and what we believe today may be disproven tomorrow. The only constant in life is change. Matt nods, feeling a sense of clarity and understanding. Thank you for your wisdom, sir. It has been an honor to learn from you. The philosopher smiles warmly. The pleasure is mine, Matt. May you continue on your path of seeking knowledge and understanding, for it is a never-ending journey. Matt Reddy. Matt asks, Do I know all present moment experience with the same certainty that I know I exist? Is not my present moment experience, be it sensations, thoughts, feelings, all that exist in the now is the nature of existence and the nature of that thing that I know with absolute certainty, even if. Like the creatures in Plato's cave, I have no knowledge of what any of these present moment experiences connect to beyond me. The philosopher nods thoughtfully. You bring up an interesting point, Matt. It is true that your present moment experience is all that exists in the now, and that you can know it with a high level of certainty. However, the nature of existence and the nature of your own being are still beyond your complete understanding, even if. You have no knowledge of what your present moment experiences connect to beyond yourself. There may still be a greater reality that you are not aware of. As human beings, we can only know and perceive so much. It is important to remain humble in our understanding and acknowledge that there may always be more to learn and discover. Matt nods, feeling grateful for the philosopher's insight. Thank you for your wisdom, sir. I will continue to ponder these ideas and seek to deepen my understanding of the world around me. The philosopher nods in return, a small smile playing at the corners of his lips. May your journey be filled with wonder and awe, Matt. Keep asking questions and seeking knowledge, for that is the path to true understanding. Matt Reddy